Mheshimiwa Sudi. Mheshimiwa Sudi, karibu salimia wananchi. Asante sana. Kanisa takatifu. Kanisa letu tunaongozwa na Reverend Zwetu hapa. Familia ya mwenda zake ndugu yangu brother wa Irene na watoto wake mama msasi na watu wote wa bahati mimi nataka nichukue fursa hii kusema pole sana hiyo siku huyu jamaa alituacha nilikuwa na Irene na Irene tulikuwa tumeagana anakuja Eldoret hiyo siku na Sabina na mama wetu wa kaunti wa Nyeri lakini baadaye tukapata kwamba huyu jamaa ametuacha mimi nataka nikwambie Irene kitu ya muhimu sana hapa uchunge watoto wa huyu ndugu yako kwa sababu huyu ndugu yako alikuwa rafiki yako sana na mimi nilimpata kujua yeye pia turu rafiki yangu anaitwa Sami kabla ya kujua alikuwa ndugu yako so nataka niseme tumekuja hapa kusema pole pole kwa familia na Irene wewe sio mtu mchache unajua familia mimi familia wengi wanaongea siku ya mashishi lakini baada ya mashishi wanasahau watoto wa ule amehaga mimi nataka nikwambie kwa jukumu chunga watoto wa ndugu yako kana wanawake wake karibu ili mchunga watoto wako wakubwa na pia ni maombo na rafiki yangu nikuje kufanya harambe hapa najua makosa ni yenu pia ila wakati ya JNC maneno yalipatikana hapo nyinyi mngijitokeza kama bishops na mutetee museme kanisa lazima ijengwe na harambe lakini sasa nyinyi mlinyamasa mkatuachia <laughs> mbako akafunga kanisa lakini ifi karibuni tutarudi kwa makanisa zetu na nitakuja hapa kujenga hii kanisa ile umesema kwa sababu unajua mimi labda ujue reverend mimi ni mtu wa chini sana ile kwa makanga wa matatu taswai unaona najenga kanisa kwa sababu mimi nashukuru Mungu kila siku so ndio unaona nafanya kanisa si hata nafanya kwa sababu ya maneno yengine ni kwa sababu penye nimetoka pale chini ndio inanibidi nijenge kanisani lakini tutarudisha hiyo arambe ya kanisa ya mwisho kabisa eh, nataka nikwambie pia Irene eh, na, na mzee wako unajua sometimes mambo kama haya yakifanyika watu wengi wanajiuliza maswali na hata hapa kwenu mama wako mzazi wewe na kila mtu umekuwa ukienda mashishi kwa manyumba za watu wengine lakini hakuna siku unayosafikiria itakufikia siku moja so lazima mukae mutie moyo na mshikane kama familia shika watoto shika eh, uh, eh, muke za ndugu zetu ndugu yetu ili familia isimame na ujue hii kifo unajua mimi na ulisanga reverend hii kifo hii ndio safari ya mwisho ama kuna nyingine kwa sababu unajua anasemanga kwanza ni saleo na sikia watu wanasema Yesu atarudi tena mkuu tayari kila siku So sisi tumekuwa tayari kuanzia tukiwa wadogo lakini hatujui sasa indio zavari hii ile wanasema atakuja kufufua eh ulimwengu So tukae tu hapo kwa hii hatujui siku tarehe wala saa tukae tu hapo na tuende kanizani na sisi wote tumtegemee Mungu lakini river inajua kuna shida pia hii dunia kubwa unajua hata Yesu akitaka kurudi akijaribu kuangalia hivi anataka kurudi lakini ile maneno yanafanyika hapa chini ni mingi sana. So ndio unaona anarudi tena ana, anakawia. Unajua kuna maswali nyingi hamjajiuliza. Mbona Yesu alitoroka kutoka duniani akaenda mbinguni? Kwa sababu mashida hii watu ni mingi na maneno hebu kanu imagine kama Yesu angekuwa hapa. Kama nyinyi mnasumbua Irene kwa hii kwa hapa, mnasumbua kama na mnafumsu na kama basi Irene nataka hii. Unaona Yesu ndiye alitoroka akaenda mbinguni. So tunaomba Yesu arudi mapema ili maneno ikuwe sawa sawa otherwise mimi leo sio sema siasa Mwenyezi Mungu awabariki sana watu wa bahati na tuombe nje yetu kongoimeza Aizaya 45 na mstari wake wa 22 na litasoma na lugha ya Kikuyu Jokererai nani mko honokio inywe adu othe abi Nego koroni eno ni egai na gotire oge thegia nie Orenge Jokerelai nane moko honokio inywe adu othe athe Nego koroni eno ni egai na gotire oge thegia nie Very good 
rudili kwangu nyinyi watu wote wa mataifa na mtaweza kupata eh kaidi mheshimiwa kigara jambeno tu hulete na yobila muno githora kule ya ruiru karibu sana thank you Lundini kwangu nyinyi wote mataifa na mtapokea wokofu kwa maana kando yangu hakuna miungu mingine return to me all you nations you shall receive salvation for apart from me there is no other god maneno hayo yalizungumziwa kwa undani sana na mtu ambaye aliishi miaka ya 1834 to 1892 aliyekuwa anaitwa Spurgeon na akasema ya kwamba if you want any deliverance from death kama utapata wokofu kutokana na kifo basi lejea kwa Mungu return to God na ndio leo hivi wapendwa tuko hapa sote kuomboleza mmoja wetu ambaye ni rafiki tuliyempenda but all of us hakuna ambaye angekuwa na uwezo wa kuweza kuokoa ndugu yetu gashie even if i was given a chance to help our brother singeweza maana kifo ni sili ya mwenye Mungu i mean ya mwenyezi Mungu alikiweka katika sili zake hapako hakuna mtu ambaye ana uwezo wa kuweza kupata mara ambapo ameficha hicho kifo but there is a hope there is a hope because after death we will appear again before god we will once again come to the seat Love God. That is why Isaiah say return to me all nations and you will receive salvation. So those that have returned to the salvation of God then it means hata kama kifo kimeonekana kimeshinda yeye ataweza tena kuwaokoa. Praise the name of the Lord. Ataweza tena kuwapa nafasi ya kukombolewa. And therefore, death may seem to be powerful. And very powerful. But those who are in the Lord, those who have returned to God, then death has been conquered. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So ours is this now as we lay our brother to rest Sote tutumainie Mungu turejee kwake na kuweza kumpa heshima yake Ni kwa maana ukienda katika Ecclesiastes eh, chapter 12 verse 13 and I ask you again the bread good to read for us Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13 Duda wa maudu macio mothe ari audu mwetu wa kuga Tiaga gai na uhiga gi madhani make amu ocio niguo wira wothe wa mundu Amu ocio niguo wira wa mundu that your purpose is to revere God is to worship God is to walk in the fear of God for that is a sole purpose of man as you live in this tent hiyo ndio tu kusundi kubwa la mtu unapohisi katika hema hii wapendwa tumeumizwa na kifo but in God there is power to conquer the death wapendwa tunaomboleza but if we return to god god will give us the victory let us worship the lord in whatever we do let us fear the lord in all circumstances and in every situation worship the lord 
with thanksgiving in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Tusaindie mungu wetu nyakati zote. Wakati hata wa uzuni, wakati hawa fulaha. That we may worship you. That we may return to you. For in you, there is salvation. Bless us, O God. Remember your people, O God. Comfort us. For truly, we cannot change what you have kept in your secret. To sign the end. O baron ni la imani asante kwa kutujibu. Kwake Yesu Kristo uliye bwana wetu tumeamini. Amen. Amen. Pigeni mtumishi wa Mungu makofi. Ojala hule mwadhani ojala hule Jetele ile njeso koigwa mogambo waku Ojala hule mwadhani ojala hule Jetele ile njeso koigwa mogambo waku Dayo dayo ngoloi Dayo wa njeso Ego da ho ya go ni ne no yo kyo aku da yo go lo ni da yo ego da ho ya go ni ne no yo kyo aku onji gule da mo da ni onji gule da onge se da la la ni do ka e to ke onji gule da mo Oh, <laughs> Wale wai te vitu, 